little sprouts. This is One Bean by Anne Rockwell and illustrated by Megan Halsley. One Bean. I had one bean. It was dry and smooth and hard. Do you see the bean? Right there. It's a lima bean. I put it on a wet paper towel. I covered it with another wet paper towel. Soon its skin had turned all wrinkly. So the water in the paper towel is starting to make the bean change. My bean had gotten fatter too. I think its skin got too, I think it got too fat for its skin because the skin split. This meant it was time to plant my bean. So do you see how it has the cracks in the skin? That is because the bean grew bigger and it kind of burst the skin open. So now he knows it's time to plant. I filled a paper cup with black potting soil. Soil is another name for dirt. Then I laid my fat wrinkly bean in the cup and I covered it with soil. I watered when the soil was dry. Even though I couldn't see my bean hidden under the damp black soil, I watched for it every day. So underneath the soil, things are starting to happen to the bean. He can't see those yet. Right now, do you see this at the end? Roots are starting to grow out of the bottom of the bean. Then one day, just like in the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, something wonderful happened. A greenish white stalk poked up from the soil. My bean was dangling from the end of it. So look, there's those roots that were growing under the soil. A little sprout came up and this is what he's seeing right here. He says, my bean is at the end of it. Soon, Two leaves grew on my bean plant. These were shaped like valentine hearts. Let's count those leaves. One, two. More green heart-shaped leaves sprouted. My bean plant grew bigger and bigger. It needed a bigger place to live and grow. As the plant itself gets bigger, so do the roots. That's the part that needs more area to expand. I filled a flower pot with potting soil. Very gently, very carefully, I took one bean with its bright green leaves and roots spreading through black moist soil out of the paper cup. I planted it in a flower pot where it could stay. So see the cup is very small, but the plant needed more space so it's going to move over to this flower pot. That flower pot is bigger and will give it more space for the roots to spread out. Sunshine shone on it and made my bean plant grow some more. Sun is another important thing that plants need to grow. One day I saw lots of little green bumps on my bean plant. Those little green bumps were buds. Do you see it right here? Here's a bud, here's a bud, here's a bud, and there's a bud. The buds burst open and lots of white flowers blossomed among the green green leaves. So each and every one of those buds turned into a white blossom. When the white flowers fell off, tiny, tiny bean pods hung in their place. Before long, there were lots of bean pods growing on my beautiful bean plant. These, my friends, are the pods. Inside there are the beans. Those tiny bean pods grew bigger. One day, I picked one. I split it open and looked inside. What do you think I saw? I saw some smooth and shiny beans 
shaped just like the one bean that had started it all. There they are, inside those bean pods. I picked a few pods and ate them, the beans that grew inside them, and they were very, very good. So let's talk about the things the bean needed to grow. Because this is something that you could do at home. It's a very easy science experiment to watch how things grow. So he started with a bean. You're going to need a lima bean. And the first thing he did was add some water. He did this by doing a wet paper towel on top and a wet paper towel on the bottom until the skin split. When he could see the skin split, he knew it was time to plant. So you're going to need some kind of cup. Now here's the thing. If you put it in a clear cup, you'll be able to see the roots start growing, which is very exciting. You're also going to need some black potting soil. Soil is important for the bean to grow. He had to put it in the sunshine and give it water. Those are three things that all plants need to grow. Sunshine, water, and healthy dirt. And if you take care of your bean plant, just like this little boy did, it might grow bigger and bigger until it's ready to go into a big pot. And when it gets to a big pot, it's gonna grow bigger and bigger if you're giving it water and in the sunlight and it has healthy dirt. And eventually you too might get to see the blossoms and you'll get to see those blossoms turn into bean pods. And inside those bean pods, you'll have new beans. Such a fun way to watch a plant grow.